Hey everyone, um, I received a request to do ink recommendations for um, Ali Edwards' Stories by the Month kits, as well as the monthly story kits um, from one of my um, Instagram followers. Um, and I had done that similar, something similar for December Daily of last year and kind of recommended some different inks from different companies um, to go along with Ali Edwards products. So um, since that was requested, I thought I'd start with the month of May. Um, and I just have a couple of disclaimers before I go through this video and make my ink suggestions. Um, so the first thing is that I live in Canada and shipping to us takes quite a bit longer than shipping to the US. So these are um, cards and papers that I've printed out from the digital kits on my printer. Um, I do use the Epson XP1500 printer that Ali Edwards uses. Um, I did a comparison back in my December daily video and the colors are a bit less vibrant, um, but overall the hue is pretty close to um, what the real papers would look like. So I have a couple of papers printed out from the Stories by the Month kit, as well as some papers and embellishments printed out from the um, Right Story kit. And another thing to note as well is that um, the inks, I'm not going for exact matches, right? Um, so when I'm making my ink recommendations, this isn't like the be all end all of like, these are the inks that you have to use with these collections. Um, they're just kind of like suggestions in case you need a bit of guidance, um, especially because um, some of the inks look different online and on the packaging than they do in real life. So if you're looking for some guidance on what inks um, look kind of close to these hues that are in these kits, um, then this is one of the ways that you can um, maybe get an idea of what inks you need to get um, if you would like to have coordinating inks or feel free to play around in your stash as well. Um, the good thing about my ink collection is that I do have a lot of different colors and I do make ink swatches of most of my inks um, and I have most of the Altenew dye inks, most of Tim Holtz's Distress Oxide inks and I think all of the Ali Edwards inks that are available on her website for sale. Um, there was one that was out of stock but I think that one might be being discontinued because it hasn't been um, restocked ever. <laughs> so um, yes, let's get started with the Altenew inks. So as you know from watching my videos, Altenew dye inks are my favorites to stamp with for most of my stamping that I do. So I picked out a couple that I thought went really well with the um, colors in the Stories by the Month kit. And the Stories kit actually has quite a similar color palette as well. Um, I will be touching on a couple of differences that I noticed with the colors in the Story kit. But um, for the red, I thought the heartbeat color looked really similar to the red in the kit. For the um, corally pink color, I thought the rouge looked a bit similar, although this is a bit warmer tone, I think, than um, the color that's showing up on that card. For the yellow, I think Honey Drizzle would work quite well. Um, although the Honey Drizzle is a bit darker, but this is uh, one of my favorite warmer toned, um, darker um, type yellow inks. And then for the blue, I was having a bit of trouble finding something that was this vibrant in color. Um, the Tide Blue ink is just a bit kind of faded in my opinion compared to um, the blue color in the kit. And then for the light blue, I picked out Iceberg, although um, I do think this has a bit of a more greener hue than the Iceberg one does, um, but this was the closest match that I could find um, to go with that kit. And then in terms of the darker colors, I picked out Desert Night for um, the darker blue, which I think goes pretty well. I think this one is a bit more greener tone than the Desert Night. And then the Dark Night is just a touch, um, kind of like a, a darker um, color than this navy blue here. But it's a great alternative if you're looking for a dark ink but you don't want like a black ink, for example. 
And so as I had mentioned, most of the colors in the Stories by the Month kit um, are similar to the colors in the Allie Edwards kits. So these um, go really nicely together. Um, this color here is just a bit more green in comparison to this color here. Um, but I think the Dark Knight color still looks pretty close to that. Um, same thing with this Tide Blue ink. I think this is slightly greener in color than this blue, um, but that's still pretty close. Um, and then for the orange, I picked out this Snapdragon. And for the pink, I picked out the Ru Rubellite or Rubellite. It was hard to find a color um, that was close to this grayish shade of purple, actually. I don't think I have any ink colors that match that tone. So um, just keep that in mind as well. Next up, I'll be sharing some um, coordinating colors in the Distress Oxide ink line. Um, so I do like these for stamping as well as for ink blending. Um, so the Candied Apple, I think, is a very close match to the red in this kit. The Victorian Velvet was the closest thing I could find to this corally color, although this is um, a bit more of a desaturated pink color compared to this one here. Um, the one in the kit is definitely a bit more warm toned. For the yellow, I picked Fossilized Amber. I think the um, Honey Drizzle from Altenew is a closer match. Um, this one just seems to be a bit um, lighter in color. And then as for the bright blue, um, this Salty Ocean was the closest one I could find. Um, again, not an exact match. I don't think I have an exact match um, to the color in the kit, but this one is close enough in my opinion. And then for the darker blues, I picked out a couple of, um, these ones aren't really as close as the Altenews ones that I have. Um, so you can see how, how different those shades of blue are compared to um, the Distress Oxide inks that, that I have here. And these are Faded Jeans and Chip Sapphire. So again, um, the Altenew inks are um, definitely a much closer match in my opinion. Um, and that just makes sense because Altenew has a lot more inks in their line than um, the Distress Oxides. And then for the powdery blue, um, I picked up this uh, Speckled Egg Distress Oxide ink, which is a bit more gray in tone than the blue in that kit. And then I have also picked out a pink and an orange. I think Carved Pumpkin is pretty close to the orange in the uh, right story kit. And then the Picked Raspberry is um, similar to the pink here, although this pink is definitely a bit darker than the Picked Raspberry. In terms of Allie Edwards' um, collection, she has, of course, a smaller amount of um, ink colors to choose from. Um, so I was surprised that she actually has um, colors matching most of the uh, colors that are in this kit. So for example, this Redwoods is pretty close in color to that red in the story kit. Uh, sorry, Stories by the Month kit. This Rose Garden is a bit darker in shade than the pink in that kit, um, but I think that would look really nice as well when paired together with that. And then this Honeyman ink is, I think, quite close to um, the yellows in that kit as well. You can see that it's just a touch darker than that paper there. Um, for the blues, I picked up um, these two uh, Shane's Day Shoots and Columbia. And I think this is definitely darker than this shade here, but in terms of the hue, it's fairly close. And then Columbia isn't a, an exact match, but you can see it's quite close and then even quite close to this blue here. Um, again, there wasn't any um, ink colors in Allie Edwards' line that matched this grayish purple hue, um, this, but this Tillamook um, color really matches well with that orange there. 
So I hope you found that helpful. Um, again, this is not the be-all end-all to what inks you should use with these kits, but I hope that's a good starting point and I hope that encourages you to use your stamps a bit more often. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Um, let me know in the comments as well whether you prefer this type of overview in a video format or on Instagram or on both, and I will decide whether I want to continue doing this for next month as well. Thanks so much for watching!